Welcome back to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for telecom and data centers. We are coming back to you live from the showroom floor at the beautiful Venetian here at the Channel Partners Expo, having a wonderful time. And joining me now here on JSA TV Live, we've got Daniel Lonstein. He is the president and CRO of Airspring. Thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, thanks for having me here. Have you had a successful day so far here at it's, Channel Partners? We've had a very, it's actually one of the better shows. I have to say we've been... Uh, in a while, a lot of meetings, the sh show floor really busy, so looks like the industry is doing really well and we're happy to be part of that. Absolutely, yes. So tell us about Airspring and how you are involved here in the industry and how you serve the industry. Well, of course, so uh, we are a managed communication services provider, you could say. In the old days, we used to say aggregator or reseller, so there's always new and exciting terms, but essentially, uh, we resell services from uh, multiple carriers, both in the U.S. and abroad. We are 100% channel focused, so that means we do not have a direct sales force. Uh, we sell exclusively through the channel. We have been doing that for 22 years, and therefore we are very uh, attuned and uh, closely tied to the success of the channel. You are, you are very well known as well for providing some global connectivity, of course, through your SD-WAN. Can you tell us a little bit about how, how you're able to do that and how that works? Yes. Well, thanks for asking. So a um, number of years ago, we started expanding from our domestic focus to more of an international focus. So there's two things we're doing internationally. Uh, first is we're providing global connectivity. Um, we now have, in addition to all the agreements we have with US-based providers, everyone from AT&T, Verizon, to practically every MSO cable company and many, many smaller in between. We now have direct uh, agreements with, I think, coming on close to 100 international providers, uh, direct contracts to provide global connectivity. And that's been a huge part of our success over the past uh, couple of years as we grow into that space. So many times, um, we are selling to a U.S.-based or U.S. headquartered company, but they, let's say, I don't know, maybe they've got 300 locations domestic U.S., but they have another 40 or 50 globally, and our ability to provide that under a single umbrella has really helped us to win and service those deals. So that's the first part. The second part is our global SD-WAN, uh, which divides again into two segments. We offer our uh, Velo Cloud VMware global SD-WAN product, where we offer... Uh, those um, units uh, which we can ship and deliver uh, globally through uh, certain partners and uh, we also have a private backbone for global SD-WAN which is really good primarily for MPLS replacement so one of the challenges when you're trying to replace a legacy MPLS network uh, and we don't think about selling MPLS that much anymore but we also forget how many of those networks are still out there today yeah. And when you're trying to replace them with SD-WAN, the biggest problem you have is when you deal with transcontinental internet, it does not have the same quali quality as domestic in terms of jitter, latency, packet loss, etc. So what we do is we have our own global private backbone on a layer two backbone that allows the traffic to uh, egress the US public network, go onto our private backbone globally, and then go back to public in the foreign location. So, for example, if you were doing uh, US to China, where we do have the ability to go into China, um, we are able to then take that traffic on a private backbone across the Pacific and then go back into China. And therefore, that private backbone reduces and eliminates many of the problems you generally have in global SD-WAN. Yeah. It's a long answer to a short question, but I hope that makes sense for most people. It does, and that's really great to have all of that detail. And by the way, I should mention, when you say global, you really mean global. I mean six continents. So that Well, really I, doing... I don't know that we've done Antarctica yet, which <laughs> maybe is the seventh continent. But yes, yeah. we've done everything, Australia, Asia, Africa, uh, South America. We have partners, etc. Yeah. So it's great work that you're doing and, you. uh, and you're not stopping. You had a recently a really big announcement in March uh, talking about your managed, managed wireless WAN and introducing that to the market. So congrats. Well, thank you. Yes. So we've, we've had a, a wireless WAN solution out there, um, but we've expanded that significantly um, by adding additional partners. So we basically have all the major wireless uh, carriers in the U.S., um, as well as some of the uh, limited flat rate plans that are now available on some of those partners. So as opposed to historically wireless band WAN being 
exclusively as a backup or failover, it's now becoming a primary solution for certain customers where you have these unlimited data plans and they don't have to worry about you know getting a huge bill for overage. So as that becomes more and more prevalent in the marketplace, particularly where 5G is available, I think that's going to continue to grow in the channel. Uh, although I think as exciting as it is, we all need to be cognizant that 5G is still a small footprint compared to the total wireless footprint out there. So uh, it is something to keep in mind. It's going to keep growing. Um, all the carriers are aggressively deploying their 5G footprint, but most places are still going to be far more on 4G than 5G. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what can you tell us that might be coming up in the next two two years or, or however however far out you wish to predict in the future for you in the channel partner program? Well, I think, you know, we have no plans to change our 100% channel focus. I think my biggest focus um, as someone who's been in this industry more years than I'd like to disclose, um, I think as an industry and something we're very focused on on at Airspring is what do we need to do as an industry to change from a culture of customer acquisition to a culture of customer success? And I think that is really key to the industry. Unfortunately, everybody wants to generate new business, new logos, uh, sell new customers, but our focus really now where we're putting our investment and while we talk about these products, sure there's investment, the vast majority of our investment is into our service support delivery provisioning and how we create uh, a culture of customer success within Airspring, which I think really needs to be replicated throughout the industry. So um, I think that's the key that's going to allow our industry and the channel to continue to grow exponentially is we all need to focus on that rather than just, you know, acquisition. And, um, and so that's, I'd say, the majority of our focus as a company. Uh, we are a family-run business, so it's myself, my brothers. We're privately owned. Um, we don't have any outside investors, so that allows us to do what we feel is right for our partners and our customers. We don't have any quarterly earnings estimates or profits to deliver to anybody. And so I think that allows us to always do what we think is the right thing for our customers and our partners. Um, and we just continue reinvesting in that uh, culture. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and where can we go to learn more just to keep track with what you have going on? So there's a lot of information on the Airspring LinkedIn page and LinkedIn channel. That's probably the most up-to-date. Of course, there's our website, but I'd say LinkedIn these days has more detail on every uh, event we're participating in, what's going on, promotions, etc. All right. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much for your time and for sharing all of the wonderful things that you have going on at Airspring. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me again. And to our viewers, thank you for tuning in to JSA TV Live. Happy networking.